KPRC2 is your vaccine central, and we begin with that essential news for families. Moderna has announced that its COVID shot is safe and effective for young children. Thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. Good evening, and I'm Daniela Guzman. It is a study that families have been waiting for since the beginning of the pandemic more than two years ago, especially families of children between six months and five years old. Let's get right to KPRC2's Taisha Walker joining us tonight from Sugarland and Taisha. How are parents feeling about this new study that you've spoken to? Daniela, I spoke with several parents out here at this park earlier today. Some tell me they are confident in their decision about making the decisions that are best in their interest of their families, while others say only time and more research can tell. Moderna says its vaccine trial for children between six months and six years old shows the two dosage vaccine performs as well as it does in adults. The next step, seeking FDA authorization in a few weeks for emergency usage. I can't no doubt it. Rachel Elliott, a mother of two, couldn't be more thrilled her son Lucas, who turns three in July, may soon have a vaccine for his age group. I'm really, really excited. She, my, my son's kind of the last one in our family that hasn't been vaccinated yet because he's been too young. This mother of five says she's not against all vaccines, but she has no plans to roll up her two-year-old son's sleeves anytime soon. He's vaccinated against some things, not against others, but as far as COVID goes, I just don't think, especially for the little ones, that it's it's something that the vaccine, you know, the risk outweighs the, the benefit of it. Dr. Flor Munez is an associate professor of pediatric infectious diseases at Baylor College of Medicine, where a pediatric vaccine study has been underway for the last year. The effectiveness of being able to protect against infection that was shared is uh, relatively low. So it's in the 40 to 30 percent, uh, depending on the age group under five. Uh, with two doses. Dr. Munoz says this is great progress in protecting the youngest of children against COVID. You want to try the monkey first? Next, she'd like to see boosters for all age groups. I think that uh, it is very clear that the studies need to be done to achieve a full protection against Omicron with three doses, meaning a booster given at some point. And Moderna says it hopes to get authorization from the FDA in the coming weeks. If approved, those two doses must be taken 28 days apart. Reporting live in Sugarland, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News. Taisha, thank you.